Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And it's safe to say that I had a completely different video planned for today, but I went down this retro rabbit hole. So we're gonna check it out. Now it all started last week when I started watching this YouTube channel called Now in the 90s, where he showcased games that were released today, but in the 90s, which triggered a lot of like nostalgia feelings that I had when I used to play those games like Mega Man X or Mega Man X2 and all that other stuff. But it led me to uh, thinking about some of the games I wanted to play on the Mac OS, which is like Prince of Persia, SimCity 2000, and a few other things, which led me to trying to create a Docker where I could host my own System 7 or System 8 on my own environment where I could play around with. Now, that also led me to discovering that somebody else did this, but did it way better than I did. And it's already available online called Infinite Mac. So the creator of this allows you to actually run all the systems from System 1 all the way to System 9 on your web browser. What's great about it is that he did so much work to the point where you could actually drag and drop files to your browser and load it right into the Mac. And he has it preloaded with so many games and so many applications that it just lets you to play around with it and brings back all those feelings. And then basically this whole weekend, I was just in this trance of playing around with retro stuff, which led me to the point where I actually pulled out one of my old laptops, which still has Windows XP installed. And I'm digging through all my CDs that I used to own. And now I'm trying to build my own retro computer, which will be a video down the road because uh, I need some new parts because the hard drive's clicking and it needs more RAM. So I'm working on that video as well. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we have the website called Infinite Mac, which I'll leave a link down in the description below. And it does a great job at running all these systems. You can run from system one all the way to system eight or system nine. And then you have custom builds, which I haven't tried yet, but I did run system nine and I was playing around with a system 8.1 at one point. But if you want to read more about it, you can go into learn more on his website and then go into his series of blogs. He does have a GitHub available to show you what he's done as well if you want to mimic the things. But this is a really good read if you have the time. He talks about the struggles that he had or the problems that he was doing on how to implement the sound, moving over to a different um, emulator and getting everything basically working. And if you want specifics like full screen versions of what you're looking at here, he has links to it as well. But if you have the time, check it out. It's a really good read. I read the whole thing and then I read some of his older posts on what he was doing as well with persistence and stuff, which led me to thinking, the way I was planning to build it in Docker and running it with no VNC is nowhere near what he was doing. <laughs> going back to the main thing, right over here, you could actually choose whatever system. So I'm gonna pl be playing around with system, I think 8.1 or seven. A lot of, Seven has been around for so long that it, it actually supports a lot of the games. Like it, it came out in 91 and it didn't get an update to Mac 8 or system eight until 97. So that in itself is impressive for being an operating system around for so long. So anyway, uh, I think I was playing around with 8.1. So I'm gonna run that instead and this is what you see. And from here, you can actually load a bunch of CD-ROMs that he has pre-loaded pre here. And you could go down if you wanted like uh, Quake or Doom or I don't know, some other stuff that he has here that he couldn't fit into the hard drives that he has he loads it into CD-ROM. And you see, I accidentally clicked on Mac Hack 94 and that's what loaded right now. But in here, you could actually do everything you want as a Mac. Audio works too, and it streams right through like normal. So say I head over to games, it has a bunch of games in here, and you could just go down the list. And if you wanted to play something like A10 Attack, which was a great game back in the day, I'm saying, um, SimCity, where's my SimCity? Um, you're gonna have to go down as well because there's no scroll bar and I'm like trying to scroll right now. Uh, but you have SimCity or SimCity 2000, great game. And I'm gonna load this up. It's got the little hard drive things. You probably got audio right now. It's so cool that you could play these games. I'm gonna lower the audio so you could kind of hear it in the background. And then if I wanted to start a new city. Easy, done. Look at this. It just brings back all the memories of 
when I was playing this game back when I was a kid trying to make cities and stuff like that. You can still lay down all the stuff that you want. You need a power plant, so I'll click and hold. Funny thing is, that's actually some guy's voice that he temporarily used at that time so he could continue building the game and they kept it in the game. But yeah, that's really impressive. Like you could see that everything works. Now I'm not gonna play the game, but it just shows you that you can do this stuff. And if you want, you can actually save the world into your outside world folder, which is very impressive in itself. Now, if I go into outside world and I go into files, like some sort of files I have over here. Do I have a picture? Uh, whatever this is, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the picture of me doing the free cat thing. So I don't think it's gonna load because it's JPEG, but you can see I could drag and drop it here. And let me show you, let me drag this over here. Drag, drop, copy to Mac. It'll upload this into the downloads. And if I open this after it's done uploading, you see a, a, the blinking light. Now my image is in here. Obviously I have no way of opening it right now. I don't know what I could use to open it. Um, let's see. Photoshop with QuickTime translation. That might be able, that might be the only one that I could open it with. Uh, let's see, but I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, see, I can't convert the image. But you get the idea. It actually, uh, you could transfer files in and out. And if I wanted to, I could edit, copy, go to upload, and then if I hit paste here, actually I can't paste it, let me just drag and drop it then. Drag and drop that, I will actually get a download indication, you see that? It's downloading my same image that I just uploaded through their upload thing. It's really, really cool. Now if I want to play with CD-ROMs, as I was saying earlier, I could just click on any CD-ROM that I want from here and load it in. So I don't think all these work with Mac 8, so let's try Sim Tower. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but Sim Tower, it's gonna try to load. I don't think that CD actually worked. Yeah, I figured that. I know CDs do work, but let's try something else. Okay, let's go Bummer. Let's try um, Quake CD. No, actually Warcraft 3, no, Warcraft 3 won't work. Let's try Warcraft 3. I'm gonna eject this because I don't want that. It's loading, you can see the blinking light on the bottom right. Warcraft 3 is loaded, and I can open that up, and Warcraft 3 install. It's not going to install on 8. It might install on 9, but it's not going to install on 8. But you can load CDs into here, and then you can drag and stop stuff. And if you have your own CD, you could just load from URL, and drag and, and you paste the URL of the ISO in there as well. So it's a really, really cool functioning Mac OS, and you don't have to play with this particular version. If you really wanted to, you could just play with, say, 7.5.3. It'll load right up. <clears throat> and it's just a huge reminder of how much things you could do with a Mac back then. You could draw pictures, you could play games. Uh, there is networking as well. Uh, there is instructions on how to get networking, so if you need to transfer or go to the internet with it, you can. Look, I could just go to A1 Attack and then play another game if I wanted to. Or if anything, I could just use it like a normal Mac and have fun with it. And I, I literally got stuck on this for the over the weekend, just loading up files and playing with stuff. And um, I don't know, I got stuck into it. And then I started playing around in my own Windows XP and I started loading files into that. Anyway, it took me down a really long road and it, I had a lot of fun with playing with this Mac. Now he does have a about and donate button on the bottom right. So if you guys are interested in his work and you want to spec support him, definitely check that out. If you guys have any programs I should definitely check out during the system seven days or system eight days, let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.